In this video, we're going to see how to use both StatCrunch and Minitab to do a hypothesis test for a population mean. We'll use the following example. According to the United States Mint, quarters weigh 5.67 grams. A researcher is interested in determining whether the state quarters have a weight that is different than 5.67 grams. So he randomly selects 18 state quarters, weighs them, and obtains the data shown here. And now we want to test at the alpha equals 0.05 level of significance whether there is evidence to conclude that state quarters have a weight that is different than 5.67 grams. And now notice the key word different. That suggests that the researcher doesn't have any reason to believe that the state quarters should naturally weigh less than or greater than the standard quarters. He just wants to see if there's evidence that their weight is different. So this implies that we're going to do a two-tailed test. And so step one of our process is to state the hypotheses. We've got HO, mu equals 5.67 grams, versus H1, mu is not equal to 5.67 grams. Now before we can proceed with this test, there are certain assumptions that we need to check. First, the test assumes that we're taking a random sample from the population of interest. Well, we're told that the researcher took a random sample of state quarters, and so this assumption appears to be satisfied. Next, this test assumes that we're sampling from a population that is normally distributed. Now, if our sample size is large, we can relax this assumption. But since our sample is only size n equals 18, we're going to have to check this. And further, since we have a small sample, we'll check to see if we have any outliers. So I put this data into Minitab and produced a normal probability plot. Now this plot looks good. It suggests that our sample does appear to be drawn from a normal population. And next I create a box plot, which will indicate outliers if there are any. But the box plot shows no outliers, so our assumptions are satisfied, and we can now proceed with the test. Now recall that we're testing a single population mean. That means our test statistic is going to be a t. So to run the test, I'm going to go to stat, t statistics, one sample, with data. I need to select the column where I've got my data. Click Next. Now you notice by default we're set to run a hypothesis test. I need to change this default value of 0 to the hypothesized value for mu up in the null hypothesis. That's 5.67. And you notice by default we're set to do a two-sided test. If this were a left tail or right tail test, I change the alternative accordingly. But we're set to do a two-sided test, that's what we want. Click Calculate. And here are our results. Now the first thing you might want to do is double check that you've set this up correctly. We see here that we've got the null hypothesis, mu equals 5.67, versus the alternative, mu is not equal to 5.67. That looks right. The value of our test statistic is t sub 0 equals 2.75 and our p-value is 0 
Now the only other change we might make with this test is if we didn't actually have the data but we had the summary statistics available to us. In that case we'd go to stat t statistics one sample with summary and again this is in the case where we don't actually have the data but we have summary statistics of the data and the summary statistics we need we need the sample mean the sample standard deviation and the sample size we enter those values here and the rest of the test proceeds just the same Now let's run through our test in Minitab. I'm going to go to Stat, Basic Statistics, One Sample T. I need to click in Samples and Columns because I have my data. I'm going to select the column where I've got the data. we need to select perform a hypothesis test and for the hypothesized mean I'm going to enter the value for mu up in the null hypothesis that is 5.67 under options we can change the alternative from not equal to less than or greater than if we have a one-sided test but we have a two-sided test so we'll leave it as not equal click OK, click OK, and we have our results. Again you can check to see that you've set this up correctly. Minitab tells us that it's testing mu equals 5.67 versus not equal to 5.67, that's what we want. And we get our T statistic of 2.75 and our P value 0.014. Now, as in StatCrunch, the only other option is if we didn't actually have the data available to us, but we had the summary statistics. In that case, we go to Stat, Basic Statistics, One Sample T again, and again if we didn't have the data available to us, we click Summarize Data and we enter the sample size, the sample mean, and the sample standard deviation, and the rest of the test proceeds just the same.